sounds. We're just discussing it with a couple of the boys out of Motorhead. It's getting a bit heavier here this morning. Hello. Lemmy and Pete, welcome in. Did you see Midnight Oil then, just yeah. before you came yeah, in? Did, like yeah. the band? Sure. Yeah. I've seen them in England. Oh, you've England, seen right? them work. Oh, great. And uh, it's like Rose Tattoo, uh, people in a similar vein to you, yeah. have all said to us, Motorhead, best heavy band or best metal band in the world. That's very nice of you. It is nice, but it also leads to another thing like, the metal or the heavy grips always seem to be closer. They're more friendly with each other than, say, uh, Duran Duran and someone else yeah, in a pop right. There's a lot of rivalry. Why do you think? Well, those people are too busy being stars, you know what I mean? <laughs> is that just the well, answer yeah, or I mean, is there more? Is it, does it come together because you're playing a similar music that is straight down the line, isn't it? There's I not think, great variation. It, it, it's probably true. Um, I think uh, heavy metal, whatever you want to call it, I call it hard rock, personally. Right, like hard rock. But, um, it's never sort of been away. It's a direct descendant of Eddie Cocker and Little Richard. It's stuff that's always it's been... just ploughed on through, hasn't People it? always want to go out there and do a bit of that, you know. Right. Now, you, you obviously keep a, a set group of people with you over the years. Yeah. yeah. And you've been together, what, nine and a half? Or nine. But are there new, younger people hooking on to it, too? Yeah, yeah. It, it keeps on building All as you go? All the time. Go. Just, you know... It, one one lot bows out and becomes mums and dads and things. Right. Sorry, everybody. And, but, but, uh, but those mums and dads still like to turn up sure. when a group like yourself comes to town. Too. They bring their kids. Yeah. And then probably it's... The thing right. is, in, in England and Europe, the audience is uh, ranging from 10-year-old. They've yeah. got the jackets on with all the names on the back. <laughs> yeah. And they've got uh, patches on from Deep Purple and things like that, which they've never obviously seen. Right. But they're... You know, and so now the big vibe that's going out is that Deep Purple have reformed. Yeah. And no, you know, everybody's just waiting for it. Right, so they're going to be terrible or really good, and I hope it's really good. Gillen's been out here, of course, and uh, he's a lovely guy. We met him in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, he's great, he always yeah, yeah. Great guy. He's a lovely fellow, so we're looking forward to him, too. Um, the media seems to have a, well, some of it, a little bit of, <laughs> they feel threatened by the heavier or the hard rock bands. Mums and dads tend to, who don't know it. What advice would you give to them? And just explain what you are about and, and the fact that they really shouldn't be worried. That's you know? a very good question, isn't it? Well, well I, I, for me, I think that pe pe <laughs> people go mad. I've, sorry about this, I've got my arm in a sling. I was wrestling with a lion yesterday. And, uh, it won. Yeah. Well, He's trying to remove it, a thorn from it. It's nearly won. Oh, right. no, I think the thing is, like, um, people go mad at gigs and jump up and down and cause a bit of damage in that. But you've got to take into consideration there's a lot of kids on the dole. Yeah. They're frustrated. A lot of people have got nine to five jobs and they don't like them. Mm. So when they get to the gig, they just let it all go. This is their there. explosion there. Yeah. That's why I think that was so popular in industrial yeah. studies. No. Yeah, and it's a, it's a very basic feel. Yeah, it's yeah. insane yeah. in England because we've got the highest um, out of rate work. of out of work. Mm. Three million out which, of work. Which is unbelievable, but yeah. it makes for a very big audience for this band. That's and, why the immigration got, era working overtime. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we've got a lot of time for the kids, you know, because they save up and they, they pay for the concert tickets. Sure. And that's why we go on and give everything that we've got. I mean, when we come off stage, we're absolutely exhausted. But they, like you, become fanatical, don't they? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're there to, to pump it to them, and they're there to it's take it in, it back. which That's is really beautiful. You know, yeah. Let's team. have a look at you. I got mine, and if you can hang in, just we've only got time to say goodbye virtually, but we'll get something else in. Uh, Motorhead! Let's catch them now. Selena's tonight, if you want to see them live. It'll be packed. Better get there early. Very quickly, uh, Pete, you've got some hellos to do. Yeah, I'd like to say hello to Phil, the guitarist, Phil Campbell, and Good. Wurzel that can't be here with us this morning. Uh -huh. uh, I'd like to I say hello to the road crew, <laughs> Goom that works for me, Johnny <laughs> Allen, Eagle, Obsy. What's the other one with the sling? <laughs> <laughs> and the one with the sling. Cubsy. Yeah. Have Cubs. you had a point to make, Lemmy? Yeah, I'd just like to... Uh, could you come in here a bit, please? It's got to be real quick, Lemmy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'd just like to tell the mothers and fathers of Australia that it's too late now because we're over here, <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. How did you get the name, right. Lemmy? Lemmy a quid? Was that no, let me have a five of inflation. Lemmy, I heard that. Okay, next week...